Can you do it? Can't you do it? Do you want to do it? That's probably the most important question. But if you say that you can't do it, I can't, uh, is it possible now that you just can't? In fact, you're right. If you say it's not possible, I can't do it, your brain will agree with you. What if you ask yourself the question, how can I do it? Then your brain says, well, let's work out a way. And there's just a small change in vocabulary. In fact, it's a tiny change in vocabulary. But could it be the difference between being able to do something and not being able to do it? And so many people share with me every day. These are some of the words, I'm sure you've heard them. I'm struggling, it's too hard, uh, I can't do it. People don't believe in me. I don't have enough money. Uh, I don't have enough time. I just can't do it. And if you're using words like that, is it possible that your brain will agree with you and you definitely won't be able to do it? Vocabulary, our words. And it's interesting because we get to choose our words. We get to choose what we think. And the neuroscientists will all agree, you can only think about one thing at a time. So if you're choosing to think negative, you've got no chance of positive. If you choose to think positive, then the negative can't even get in because you can only focus on one thing at a time. So what if you get into the habit of changing your vocabulary, literally getting into the habit of, and of course it's got to be conscious now, you can't just go, oh yeah, I'm going to do that. Consciously, every single time you hear yourself say, every time you think to yourself, I can't, it's not possible, I'm overwhelmed, I'm struggling, it's too hard, change the words to how can I do it, how can I make it possible, what do I need to do to make it happen, how do I achieve that? And if you demand of your brain, yes, make it happen, don't be surprised that your brain will back you up. It's an amazing machine, but it can't do what we don't tell it to do, and it'll only do what we tell it to do. So if you say, I can't do it, you definitely can't. And I think that's a bit sad, because it's just a word change. Uh, and if you keep saying, I'm struggling, it's too hard, I can't do it, then please don't be surprised that life becomes really tough and you will struggle, and you will be overwhelmed, and it will be too hard. What if you just decide from this day forward, I'm going to change my vocabulary. Every time I hear myself say, I can't, I'm struggling, I'm overwhelmed, I can't do it, think consciously to yourself, how do I change my vocabulary to turn it into something? It doesn't even have to be positive. It's just a question. Rather than a statement of not, can't, won't, won't happen for me, how can I do it? How will it happen for me? What do I need to do? And there's some really simple things like, I can't afford it versus how can I afford it? Uh, I can't exercise every day versus how can I find the time to exercise every day? I can't eat healthy food because I'm too busy versus how can I find the time to eat healthy food? I always attract terrible people into my life versus how can I attract great people into my life? My life is terrible versus how can I make my life better? And they're just interesting word changes, simple word changes. It's a simple process and so easy to do. Challenge with so easy to do though, easy not to do. There's that great expression, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Now, whether or not that's true, uh, how easy is it to eat one apple every day? And if you put one piece of fruit into your body every day and you make a conscious effort to keep doing it every day without fail, without miss, is it possible that it would make a positive change in your life? If it's, uh, I'm going to exercise for, and obviously hard and fast exercise is only 10 seconds. Uh, there's a really interesting one because a lot of people say I haven't got time to exercise. But what if you made a conscious effort to do 10 seconds of huffy puffy exercise several times throughout the day? Not an hour, not 35 minutes, not 20 minutes, not 10 minutes, not even one minute. Just 10 seconds of squat jumps, punching, sprinting on the spot, cross trainer, treadmill, run up some stairs. Doesn't matter what you do. Your heart and lungs don't know the difference between jumping or or doing push-ups or skipping. But if you get puffed, now you're gonna change your neurochemistry. So what if you apply the two things together? I'm gonna to change the words that I use into positive words from negative into 
a question, how can I do it, which is a really positive thing for your brain because your brain goes, oh, she's given me something to do. Let's go sort out the challenge versus she's told me I can't do it, so I'll have to agree with her. And wouldn't it be nice to be in control of your brain? A lot of people share with me, I can't do it because my brain just is not wired that way. What if you change that vocabulary to how can I rewire my brain so I do think differently? And the neuroscientists put it pretty simply on how the brain works. We get to choose our words, we get to choose our thoughts. Our thoughts will then control our actions, our actions will control our results. It's not that complicated. If I decide I'm going to change my words into a question, my brain will then back me up with an answer and my headspace will change, my actions will change, my results will change. So whether it's I want to start a business, I want a new career path, I want to be healthy, fit and strong, I want to get great people into my life, I want to go on a new holiday or on a holiday, I want to be financially free, doesn't matter. Whatever it is that you want to do, instead of I can't, it's not possible, it won't happen for me, what if you change your words, your vocabulary, vocabulary there's a big word, uh, into how can I? And the beautiful thing about the brain is because we can only focus on one thing at a time, and because we've asked it a question, the brain now goes into the process of let's find a solution. And I always use the example of uh, Google, which is now not just an, a company and two guys started a company and they wanted to make sure that everybody had access to great information. Google is now a, a verb in the Oxford Dictionary. We Google stuff every single day. But the Google search engine was designed exactly the same way that the human brain works. If you type something into Google, Google will find whatever it is that you've typed in. The beautiful thing is you type in the word. If you type in shoes and rental cars come up, you'd be pretty annoyed with Google, but it's never going to happen because that algorithm, that process, that business, that very smart computer technology says, if you tell me the word, I will give you the everything in the world that's got that word in it. Well, your brain works exactly the same. Your conscious brain collects information and we, we take it all in. We get to make a decision in our conscious brain, whether it's right or wrong, whether we agree with it or we don't, whether we want to put it into our subconscious brain. But as soon as we make a decision, our subconscious brain, all it can do is back up what we've, what we've said. So if I say, I can't, my subconscious brain says, you're exactly right and here's all the reasons why you can't. And you go into downward spiral really fast in your own brain because you've told yourself, told your brain, told Google search engine to tell me all the reasons why I can't. And as Google will always do, if you say cars, Google will give you cars. If you tell your human brain can't do it, your human brain will tell you back, these are all the reasons why you can't. But if you rewire reach, uh, or change the words, simply change the words to how can I, now the subconscious brain has to go, well, we've got to come up with the answers, exactly like Google. How do I? And Google comes up with the answers. Now, whether they're right or wrong, from a Google perspective, I'm not going to get into that particular argument, but your own brain, when you ask it, how can I, it will go, well, here's all the reasons why you can, here's how you can, and let's make it happen. So rather than telling yourself, I can't, it's not possible, I'm struggling, I'm overwhelmed, it's not possible for me, how about how can I? And the beautiful thing again is once you've done something, you are a doer. When you're thinking about it, when you're researching it, when you're analyzing it, when you're telling yourself that you can't, nothing gets done. And you actually don't know if you can do it because you, you're just thinking about doing it. But if you want to get something done, the key here is to just bloody do it. And I always use the example, can I run a marathon or can I do an Ironman or can I open a business or can I be healthy, fit and strong? You don't know. None of us know. We could, we, maybe we could, we think we can. And I remember the opposite, uh, the first time I ran marathon, I really didn't think I could. But somebody gave me some great advice, Rowie, when the gun goes off, start running. When you're fin finished, cross the finish line, stop running, don't stop anywhere in between. And once you've done marathon, you've now become a marathon runner. You can run marathon because you have. You've done it. So rather than tell yourself that you can't, ask yourself, how can I? Go do it and then you'll be a doer. You'll be a done rather than I can't. What a great idea. 
I can't versus how can I and now I have. That's a great philosophy, isn't it? I have. I will and I have. I want to. Here's the plan and I've done it. How about change the words? What if you decide today, no more of this I can't do it, just simply change I can't to how can I and watch the human brain back you up. Wouldn't it be nice to have a, a body and a brain and a life and a, an experience that says whatever she tells me to do, I'm going to do it because I'm the, I'm the brain that does what it's told. And isn't it interesting that that's exactly what your human brain will do? It will do what it's told. So how about go do? Woohoo! Ha ha! Yes!